let y equal 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. If delta x equals 0.2 at x equals 1, use linear approximation to estimate delta y. Round to the nearest tenth if necessary. All right, so there's lots of little formulas and things that you can do here, but uh, I want to go with just broad scope concepts here because this is something that really is important to be able to do, um, but I don't like getting into the nitty-gritty formulas here. I just want to look at the concepts of things. So um, what we're doing with a, with a derivative, we're assuming that a derivative for some function, I'm just drawing a sketch of a parabola here, at a particular point, what that derivative does is it linearizes that curve. So it makes that curve uh, around that point in a small neighborhood uh, as the closest line it can be it matches the curve, okay? And so because it matches that curve, you can use the, the derivative, the tangent line, to make approximations of where the function is over small intervals. That's what we're doing here in uh, linear approximations. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's get started. So we're obviously going to need the tangent line. So let's get the tangent line. And like I said, I'm not using formulas here. I'm just using the basics of how to find a tangent line. So we have uh, the function y equals 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. Its derivative is 4x plus 6. All right, now, the point of interest is x equals 1. So uh, if I were to give this some sort of, I, I don't, this is not a great, I'm not guaranteeing this is the correct graph. Uh, but let's say this is x equals 1. All right, just hypothetically. So that's kind of the center point of where I'm doing this approximation. But it's the uh, point here, 1, comma, whatever it is on this particular graph, and I need to find that by just taking y of 1. So that, let me notate that a little better. I'll say y of 1 equals 2 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 plus 4. So that would be 10 so 12. So this is at 1, 12. The slope of the tangent at that particular point would be the first derivative evaluated at 1. So this would be 4 times 1 plus 6, which is 10. All right, now the tangent line itself. So to find the tangent line, We know we use the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus the y value of this point, so 12, equals the slope of 10 times x minus 1. So y equals 10x minus 10 plus 12, or y equals 10x plus 2. All right, so uh, now I have the function that I'm working with, and I have the tangent line that approximates. So let me make sure we get a good picture of this that is, a, you know, I'll graph it online so that we get a good picture of this. All right, so uh, I've already graphed the original function here. Um, what I'm going to do next is graph the derivative. So we said the derivative was 10x plus 2. All right, if I graph that, then there's my derivative. And I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and change the color of that derivative just so we make sure we know which is which. Perfect. All right, so... Um, Close that. All right. The derivative, let's zoom around here and make this look nicer. That's good. All right. So the derivative here, 
uh, it definitely uh, linearizes this curve over a small neighborhood. That was the idea. And that neighborhood is centered around our point of interest, which is at 1, and like we said, 12 on the y. So this is the point 1, 12. This is the tangent line. So everything's working out as expected. Now, uh, what we want to do is approximate the value of the function at a very small interval around this particular number. So, for instance, uh, let me bring, bring that up so I can draw on it. All right, so for instance, if here's my point at 1, and that's the coordinates 1, 12. Now what I want to do is go just slightly around it, and I think we said 0.2, so I'm going to go to 1.2, which I think is right here. So at 1.2, both the tangent line and the curve has a particular y value. We can calculate each of these. So we can calculate uh, the tangent line, which was y equals... 10x plus 2 uh, at that particular point, and that will give me, let's see, 10 times 1.2 plus 2, so 14? No, oh, okay. Yeah, so that gives me a height of 14. I guess that makes sense looking at my scale here. And then we have this point here, which is the actual point. So um, the original function, let me, 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. y equals 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. If I evaluate the original function at 1.2, let's see what I get. So that would be 2 times 1.2 squared plus 6 times 1.2, plus 4. Now, it's probably not going to be 14, but it should be something really close to 14. All right, so 14.08. So that's the idea, is that the tangent line gives us a pretty decent approximation to uh, the height of the curve at small intervals around that particular point. So that's the idea in tangent line approximations. So in order to sum up here, in order to get the final answer, what you would do, um, so delta y, uh, well, okay, actually if it's saying find delta y, then that's a slightly different question, but the same concept. So uh, when I go from x equals 1 to 1 1.2, Delta x is 1.2 minus 1, because it's the change in x. Okay. Similarly, uh, using the tangent line approximation. So, uh, y at 1 is uh, 12, and the approximate value of y using the tangent line approximation, so at 1.2 was 14. So this is like y1 and y2. So delta y is y2 minus y1. That's how we define the change in y. So 14 minus 12 is 2. So that would be the change in y. So this is the approximate height. This is the increase that we went from the original point to the approximation.